So I look slightly atrocious right now, and I realize that, but you know what? Some days that's what you get. So it must be a Thursday. And uh, there's a fan in the window, so if you hear a constant buzzing in the background, that's what it is. I made a, I made a little tiny list. I wrote it on my desktop right there. Um, number one, for you and anybody else who would like to know, I don't have text messaging on my phone, so you may be sending me things and I'm not getting them. I actually had them turn it off. I, I can't afford it. But I, I do have a lot of minutes, and um, you can always call and leave a message, even if it's for like a two second thing, because most of the time I never have my phone with me anyway, and I, I don't answer. So messages are fun. I like messages. It makes me feel loved. I have exciting weekend plans. I'm running up to Kentucky really quick to go to Glenda Stewart's bachelorette party extraordinaire, where uh, apparently we're going all over the town of Lexington getting nails done and eating out and going crazy and spending the night in a hotel with the pool. I'm super stoked. It should be really fun. So Friday night we get to go shopping for gifts. It'll be great. It'll be great fun. I'm excited. I am going to get a pedicure. Uh, I've never had one before. I felt like this was something I sh should share with you. So I'm kind of excited. I don't know how much it costs. I've always been an anti-foot person. I really don't like people's feet or thinking about people touching my feet because I'm always like, oh, you're touching feet? I don't even like feet. What's wrong with you? But uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them touch the feet. I also recently got paid for the first time, so that's kind of why I can afford to do, I can afford to do this. Uh, I got a check and uh, it was kind of uh, confusing because I wrote down all of my exemptions correctly on the paperwork for the company and when I got my check of which about twenty dollars should have been taken out for taxes I got it read it and the government only took out one dollar which kinda stinks because when tax time comes around I'm gonna owe the other nineteen dollars and so I called corporate and I said hello corporate um could you help me figuring out my paycheck so that it uh it'll take out what it's supposed to take out for my uh check oh let me see about that no I'm afraid you'll just have to call the government about that what call the government that is not an answer you call the payroll department of the company so that they can help you fix it you don't call the payroll department of a company so that they can tell you to contact the IRS that, that just, that's not what happens. I was PO'd and I didn't feel like dealing with it at the time. You may have seen my Facebook recently where I was very upset about the status of the Crest Pro Health toothpaste and why it is so terrible. This is what I got. Crest Pro Health, it's the night version. So I don't know if that's why it's different, uh, why I hate it so much and other people don't not hate it. Don't not hate it. Bad grammar. It's got not such a pleasant taste to it and there's so much baking soda or sand or whatever they put in it to get the crap off your teeth that it it makes me gag I can't use it so uh free cycle <laughs> use tube of toothpaste maybe no I don't know I went out to dinner this evening with my mom to a burger place that neither one of us had been to before I got this huge burger and the first bite I took basically had this track of sauce going down the side of my shirt and I had to go grocery shopping and I'm usually not so paranoid about whether or not my uh, shirt is irreparably stained but I did not want to go out in public with my shirt stained such as that. So we went into the Aldi to go grocery shopping and I bought a shirt. <laughs> I didn't have the groceries I needed and the shirt is a white button-up sleeveless shirt and it was two sizes too small for me. <laughs> but I needed something to cover my stain. So I got it and, and I put it on. And it wouldn't come any further than right here. Not only was it too small in the first place, but it didn't cover the stain. So as I'm driving down the road, I'm trying to figure out with my mom how I can cover the stain while we go on, our, on the way to the Kroger. And I decide stoplight. I know, I'll turn my shirt around, the shirt underneath, 
and then put the white one back on. The white shirt was so small. I put my arms in the air and slung myself onto my mother in the passenger seat and said, Rip it off! Rip it off! I gotta switch my shirt around at the light! Basically, uh, lots of laughter ensued. The stupid shirt wouldn't come off. The guy in the truck next to us probably thought we were drunk. It was, it was funny. I don't know if I'll get another video blog in to you before um, this weekend. Probably not. But I'll be sure to blog about it after I come back. So I hope to see you on Monday. I really miss talking to you. Uh, your AIM isn't working. At least not on my end. I'll talk to you soon.